Summer is a time for excitement, so go ahead and switch things up with a new recipe from HelloFresh. With pre-measured ingredients and easy-to-follow directions, it's never been easier to try something new. Get 12 free meals, including free shipping, with code FACE14 at HelloFresh.com FACE14. And welcome to episode 58, I think. Is this 58? Yeah. Is this, yeah, 58 of f- face. What's everyone's favorite brand of honey mustard? I'll go first. <laughs> I really enjoy White Spots. I don't. I know they're a restaurant chain and not a brand. They have a fantastic honey mustard. Jeff, what is your favorite? I'll be honest with you, Andrew, I'm not a, I don't like it. Wow. I don't think no. I've ever bought it from like, like a brand in a store. I've had it on, yeah. you know, if I'm picking a sauce in a restaurant, maybe I'll Wait. have it. But I don't ever like buy the the whole thing. It's weird to me, dude. I like honey and I like mustard, but together they don't it doesn't it doesn't it's not a draw for me. That's I, wild I, I respect to me. that you love it so much. I really do. Huh. I do. Oh, sh- and Nick has an answer. He's got he Texas had, honey one, locked and loaded. I yeah, I, I don't know why I didn't immediately go to Nick for this. Texas Honey Ham Company. Can I get Texas Honey Ham Company? Seems it's pretty spicy. Local. Let's see if I can order that. I mean, I got salad cream. Do you know what I realized, by the way? What's that? What did you realize? We went around everyone and did the soda chug burp challenge. Yeah. But I couldn't help but notice that someone was absent mm. when we did that. That's an excellent point, Gavin. So we're going to need, ooh, we're going to need to sort of round off this whole chapter of face today, probably. I'm probably, uh, I'm, I'm going to have to agree with you. <laughs> Eric, thoughts? Yeah, so how is Nick going to do this? Is Nick already gonna... did it. Nick what? did it. Nick was part oh. of the chug. Okay, he did so it. then, okay, follow-up so question. Can I fake it like Jeff, or do I actually have That's to? I didn't great, fake it! It's a great point. I told you it was going to be a letdown if I did it, because I've already proved that I can do it easily. <laughs> Why do people think you have faked it? I don't understand because, that. Because there is, okay, so it, well, Jeff's like, I'm going to chug it, and then there's no, and he says, like, I'm going to try to do this so you can hear it. You hear nothing, and then a few seconds later, he's like, halfway through, and then there's like a second of nothing and then done. Well, I, th- I assume Nick's just cutting out silence. Could be. Uh, but I yeah. felt like even live, it was Yeah, it see, was Nick pretty... says true. That's because I don't, pretty... I don't make a lot of noise. I don't sound like a dying dinosaur when I drink like you do. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nick. Nick couldn't hear the chugging Listen, in the fucking, raw audio. No, hold up. I'm getting wow. a, I'm getting. Oh, Nick. Okay. I'll be right no, back. No, Nick, if you can hear Jack in the <laughs> audio when we couldn't hear Jack... That is damning evidence, because I was going to say the fact that we couldn't hear Jack made me think that Jeff did do it, and we just couldn't hear it. If you can hear Jack in the audio, that to me indicates that Jeff didn't do the chuck. I believe that Jeff fully did it, but I'm willing to continue on the path that he didn't just so he has to do it again. It sounds like he's going to try it again. He definitely did it last week. I'm not sure about that. The lack of audio is fascinating. (laughs) How is he not back yet? how, How much you were... Just getting you. You were enjoying it so much as we struggled <sighs> to even chug it. It was just like, oh. <laughs> well, because you guys talked you so happy. much shit about how easy it was, and then it was a nightmare for everybody involved. Okay, I, I listen. I'm gonna do it again. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here, l- listen to the fuck. It's a uh, Coke Zero. Uh huh. Listen, listen for this. Can you hear that? I'm gonna open it. Did you hear Ooh. that? <laughs> okay. Sounded real. Yep. Definitely S- splattered it. me in the fucking face. <laughs> All right, so now I just I'm just gonna drink it. All. I'm gonna stop at some point to breathe, but I won't. Sound like a sound effect. Why, why you. don't you produce? Why don't you produce an audible hum so we'll know where you are in the stage of drinking and breathing? I'll, I'll try to <sighs> turn on my camera. Turn, suck, suck my butt. All right, here we go. Here, I'll, I'll take a fucking photo. I'll take a fucking photo. Right. I mean, here. that doesn't prove anything. We know you have a soda. The photo is <laughs> useless. I don't. All right, here we go. I'm gonna record this. All right, here we go. I'm okay. gonna record it. All right, here we go. Okay. It's uh, here we go. We're record. <laughs> I'm actually recording. It's not like an action Bronson type thing. Uh, and <laughs> <laughs> I mean, already sounds worse than it did last time. Oh, I can hear it. I can yeah, hear I that. Heard the chug that time. He's really making it count there. Silence again. All right, it's gone. That was really thing? fast. Yeah, I just did it. That was that was really quick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, no, oh, Nick just said, on a second listen, I can hear the chugging. <laughs> yeah. You didn't have to do that, Jeff. You didn't have to do it. God. I need to credit Damn Eric it. with the masterful performance of being asked to drink a soda and then having this happen. That was a great, <laughs> great move by Eric. A great oh. point like the move. And I, but that only works if we just move on and refuse to right. go back to Eric. That's true. But we don't do that. We No, we, Eric, we, uh, you're up. I don't. No. I don't think I keep soda in the house. I can you, try to. You who? What, what do you mean? You're an American. <laughs> I don't drink. I don't really drink soda. I can try oh. to. What if? What if I crush a Budweiser? Is that American? Yeah. Like that's, that works. That's very American. That's like. All right. Talk about American. something else, and I'll try to. <laughs> I'll try to. I'll go get a Budweiser real quick. Uh, all right. Hang on. I'll be right back. Uh, uh. <laughs> uh, Nick's right. Nick's right. You could f favorite or Instacart it, and it'd be there in no time at all. Definitely before the end of the show. We can even vamp and run long. <laughs> yeah, I can, oh. I can have my neighbor deliver some. <laughs> <laughs> this has got to go 50 houses or however the distance. Past God, I'm trying person. to share this stupid video and I won't share. On the Discord thing? Yeah. Well, maybe we should save the Eric Chug for the finale. Go out on like Careful. we kind of set a tradition. Nick said it might be sparkling water and not a soda. I don't mean? know what that means. Yeah, I, like That's I understand same, what it? those words mean. Well, mm, I think as long as it's carbonated. I think a sparkling water is fizzier than a soda. You do or you don't? I do. I would rather chug a soda than a sparkling water. I think if yeah. I had a sparkling water, it'd be even worse than what happened. I was doing. That's what I was doing. I was doing. Wait, I don't drink soda. Wait, this just dawned on me. Wasn't the thing you're supposed to drink and then not burp? Yeah, yeah. it was a sparkling soda. We've been wrong the entire time with the soda. It's been but, completely off. But didn't Jeff just drink it and then burp immediately? Yeah, no, he lost immediately. But he was yeah, yeah. gotta go enough. thirty seconds. Oh. The timer starts. At yeah, the end. yeah, I lost. I just, I just drank it. Oh. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. I wasn't aware that that was an option. No, if we're doing this right, you need to chug two cans and then not burp for thirty seconds. Oh, that's insane! What an insane thing! No, I'm not doing it, that. It's, do it's totally, totally doable. I just don't have two cans left. Uh, that was my last. Soda. I think I. That's <laughs> interesting. Can. Everybody yelled at me when I said I didn't have soda, but just going. No, I don't have two cans left. I what? just drank one on camera. Well, hang on. You could Instacart it real quick. Be here by the but end of the I show. But I don't need to because I've already done it twice now. You did one. Oh, er Eric, just do your bud. Crush your bud, Eric. Okay. Oh, is he doing cam? Yeah, I'll, I'll turn on a little camera for you. Oh, okay. Here we go. Uh, it's Budweiser King of Beers. Uh, this is uh, the America can. So mm -hmm. I also don't think I can do this. Like, I guess I'll try. Yeah. Like what me? What is a chug? I feel like you can't remove the can from your. Yeah. Lips, yeah. But just you can keep pause. slamming it. All right. Haven't done this since college. Cheers to you. Look at him bragging about going to college. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Andrew, did you look go to the, college? Look at the glug rate. He's glugging. Did I, no, I did not go to college. Gavin, did you go to college? No. Well, I went to Man, sixth form. Me either. I didn't okay. even go to sixth form. All right, it's down. Eric 30 Schwartz. seconds. He's not burped yet. He looks get in the in mic, pain. Eric. Get in the, get in the mic. We need to hear the suffering. <laughs> <laughs> he does not look good. He's shaking his hands He's around. shaking it out. I think oh, he's my, like trying Oh, no, to Jeff might be right. Yeah, you lose oh, the burp. No. Oh, no, I <laughs> lost it. I felt it and it went back down and now my stomach's even worse. <laughs> I don't know that I can burp. Oh, okay. There never you mind. Go. Oh, you got it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> this That's is the right. first time I think I've chugged a Budweiser without popping it with a key and then yeah. slamming it in the front yard. <laughs> when was the last time you did that? Uh, uh, 2008. <laughs> oh, by the way, did I tell you, Eric, I, I have a hard out after the, uh, the break shit. You have a hard, oh, I think we both have the same hard out. I was going to ask if it's, if it's your hard out as well. Oh, it's, I, we have the exact same hard out. <laughs> what's, what's your hard out? We have a group that sees movies that oh. had to take a break for a while. But now we're back in full force <laughs> and it's an insane group of people. So we went and saw Hobbs and Shaw. I got asked by Tim G, TPG from sales. And he went, bro, you fuck with Hobbs <laughs> and Shaw? And I said, <laughs> and I said, I guess so. And he said, you fuck with D-Box? And I said, I don't know what that is. And he said, bro, D-Box, Hobbs and Shaw. And I said, okay. 
So I show up to a movie theater, myself, Tim G, <laughs> Meg, and Gavin, and that's the group. <laughs> so Tim G hit me up earlier this week or last week, and he said, bro. I can't wait to fuck with Fast 9. And I said, let's do it. He said, bro, D-Box. And I said, let's fucking do it. And he said, I'm getting the crew back together. The D-Box crew is back, baby. <laughs> it's, I'm so cannot, excited. It's the D-Box family. You guys it's, are honoring the it movie. It is straight up. Straight it is up. perfect. It, like, right <laughs> after we do break shit, we uh -huh. are, like, going and seeing fucking... Fast and Furious 9 and D-Box with Tim G. I don't know, it's been, it's been a few it. years. It's been a few. I'm, I'm, I'm like legitimately excited. I can't I'm wait. so jealous. This is like a great experience. It sounds like an awesome time. I've actually seen every Fast movie in D-Box <laughs> since I moved to this country in 2012. And the first time was probably the roughest because I, th I think I'd eaten something a little bit gammy earlier in the day. Was that with Ben? No, I think it was with Michael and Lindsay. Uh, I saw Fast Five in D-Box, I think, with Ben. Yeah, I think that was a little bit earlier. Oh. That was probably before I moved here. But mm. I, I, I think I ate some gammy Trudies or something, or I had too many frozen <laughs> margaritas or something. But I sat down, and it did the little D-Box trailer, where it's like, ah, this is what these seats do, and it like shook the <laughs> shit out of me. I was like, blah, 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 blah. and then I was just like... I have to go and throw up before this movie starts. Because <laughs> I was about to hurl in my seat. I ran while, like, right before the movie started. I ran, threw up, and came back. And it was awesome. It was great. <laughs> before we get too far away, I have some questions I need to ask. Gavin, did you receive the same pitch? Did Tim G come to you and say, do you fuck with Hobbs and Shaw? Was it the same intro? How did you get recruited into the family? Well, I want to say that because I was already, I'd already had my perfect record of fast movies in D box. I think uh -huh. he was trying to seed Hobbs and Shaw, and I recommended D box, and then he passed that on to Eric, and now it's just become the crew. But how did? Okay, I guess I don't see how he becomes involved in it at that point. He seems like the Dom Toretto of this D box family, <laughs> um, and it's you're making it sound like he was an addition, like you're doing this regardless, and you just happened across. But that's past. the thing. Here's the here's the thing. He took Fast, over. And, Fast and Furious is a group of people who were already doing a lot of different things that have come together and now <laughs> they are secret <laughs> agents. Uh, so that's kind of what we're doing. We're all doing different stuff. I'm kind of like the ludicrous <laughs> of this whole thing. Okay. <laughs> Definitely like been around, but also you go, but really, what's he doing here? So I feel good in my role. Was it was it TPG last time who took the poster? He like yes. got, oh, got the yeah. free poster. Yeah. Oh, he was so excited about a free poster. It was. I awesome. just like that. I like that this crew that's getting back together has never once hung out outside of a fast movie. <laughs> you can't. All we do that, that we have literally never all been in the same place again. You can't. The only time, the only time we've hung out is the one time seeing that other movie. <laughs> <laughs> the COVID happened, and Tim went, "Bro, you fuck with Fast Nine. <laughs> it's gonna be so good. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Oh. We're gonna open a bunch of cards, and then we're gonna go <laughs> get shaken around. It's yeah, awesome. we're gonna we're gonna open cards. I'll quickly go make myself throw up, and then we'll head out. Oh. <laughs> I'm curious how many other people got invited to the D-Box family. This is a great thing. I, I hope it expands. Sounds like a pretty exclusive club. I can't wait for one of you to die and then come back two years later. <laughs> I got invited to the Sunday Overflow event with Alfredo, so I'll be seeing you there. <laughs> I'm going to that one too, so I'll see you there. <laughs> Everyone. <Make> as well. Because <laughs> then we saw Alfredo at a bar and I bought Coronas and I just went... It's family, and then we felt really good about it. <laughs> what? I, it's interesting. You called them agents. I don't know what I'd categorize the crew as. I feel like they're a bit. Are they a family business technically? Like what? <laughs> what? They they've registered a company. They got like an yeah, LLC. Like, I don't. I think they're a family business technically. I think I was watching Fast Six, no Fast Seven, on a plane, and there was one point where this girl like gave them information. And uh, 
uh, they were like, oh, the, our other team would have tortured you for that information. And she's like, I don't trust that team. I trust you. And I'm like, they've gotten so big, they have teams yeah. within their team. <laughs> That's insane. That's crazy. We've witnessed the expansion. The first movie was about racing. <laughs> it was about stealing VCRs. <laughs> that was like the big heist <laughs> of the first movie. We've come a long way. <laughs> this is how governments are born. <laughs> <laughs> can, you imagine, can you imagine how bummed people would be if Fast 9 was just a racing movie? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a weird G.I. Joe thing now. Like he's got a metal suit. I'm excited. I want to see Fast 9 now. You've, you've, you've excited me about these movies. I mean, they're great movies to begin with. You played any of the games for Fast uh, and Furious? Yeah. Jeff and I made a video, I think, in a... Yeah, we played Fast Five. Fast or Five, else. yeah. Oh, the one that <laughs> didn't have... Like, it's... What is it? Like, Tyrese and Ludacris and Paul Walker are, like, the playable characters? Like, Vin Diesel, I don't think, is in that game. I don't remember. I just remember it was trash. It was really not It great. was really bad. The only good Fast game was, like, the Forza tie-in, and it's not even really, like... It's just the cars, but, like, the narrative... They put out a new one like a year ago that I haven't played uh, that I own that I'm excited to. Speaking of uh, G.I. Joe and how much enjoyment we got out of Swede and uh, Rutabaga, do you know what the English version of G.I. Joe is called? I feel like when you say it, I'll recognize it, but I could not pull it. Like, I couldn't just say it right now, but I'll be what like, is yeah, it? that's correct. Action Man. No. That's great. <laughs> it's I action like Action Man. man. No. So wait, are they the Action Men? No, just action man. And action well, I think there's mans? like an action, it's like another action team, I guess. I don't know. But it's G.I. Joe? It's like Scarlet and Hawk and Hawkeye? No, and... I don't know. I think it's just like a British spin off and he has like real hair. Oh, it's a, oh, wait, so it's a I spin off. See, see, it's I not see, even a real. I thought you were saying that's what it was called. I thought it was like the cartoons. Like, like you have Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. I action thought it would be like, man. Action man. Yeah. Well, it's exactly. like the dolls and stuff. I'm so confused by you. You somehow made this more confusing. <laughs> yeah. So what was when you watched G.I. Joe the cartoon in England, what was it called? Action Man the cartoon? I didn't see G.I. Joe. I don't know. Great. I just had what Action was Man. The, this is like my Wait, uh, G.I. Was, I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> <laughs> was it Leona Waddell, the basket weaver, where like I knew one thing about her and this is yours that you know one thing and you have no other information about Action Man. I don't know. Look up Action Man. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing, kind of, mostly. Well, it's, you're saying it's exactly the same thing. Those are two very different things if it's not the same thing. If it's not the same thing, you just told me that there's a thing in the <laughs> Europe called Action Man. Yeah, there which is, is a thing not, in Europe called Action Man. Yeah, but the whole point was that it was a fucking G.I. Joe thing, and I don't think it is. I think it's I think just it Action is. Man. Action I don't think Man. it is. I looked up Action Man right now. It is a, a Canadian, it appears. Ooh. Um, TV series Australia maybe, let me I'm going to into the wiki 2000 action man TV series I feel like I owned an action figure for the action man Max is his name Max the show is unrelated to the 1995 show is that what you're referring to Gavin action man is an action figure launched in Britain in 1966 by blah 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 as a licensed copy of it's Hasbro's American movable fighting man G.I. Joe so it's a variation it's not uh because it's licensed by, so it's, I guess, technically the same, but it's different. Or maybe they're just using the same pieces? I don't know. Action Look, now man. I'm worried that it's nothing to do with, with G.I. Joe, but it looks like it kind of is. Well, it's, I've, I feel like somebody called an action man would fit under the G.I. Joe umbrella, as far as like what that content would be. Action man and G.I. Joe, the same. We had Rescue Heroes when I was growing up. Was our, like, G.I. Joe equivalent... But imagine, do you remember the PSAs in G.I. Joe of like, don't fucking leave the stove on? Yeah, I've only seen like the funny redubbed ones from yeah. the, the golden age of the internet. Rescue Heroes was if they made G.I. Joe, but it was only the PSAs. It was just like, oh. here's a group of like, kind of not really soldiers, but like firefighters and ambulance people and they're superheroes. They're going to stop a fire or like there's a tsunami coming in. It was not it was not really thrilling. Was uh was that Canadian produced? It was, yeah. Okay. I don't want to say it was a Canadian cartoon. Action Man is a do, 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 do. it's a licensed copy of Hasbro's. So I guess it's the same as it's the same as the GI Joe doll, but it's not in the GI Joe universe. That makes sense. I think they just took the doll and renamed it, but it's so not it's actually not GI Joe related. Yeah, yeah, no, I think it's his own separate thing. From what I can tell, what does GI even stand for? General issue. 
or government oh, okay. issue. Fair yeah. play. Game Informer? <laughs> or Game Informer, yeah. What is HelloFresh? I feel like if you don't already know the answer at this point, then you've been living under a rock and not a flavor rock. HelloFresh is fresh pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door so that you can skip trips to the grocery store and count on them to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable for you. It's why it's America's number one meal kit. Just try HelloFresh's quick and easy meals. They have 15 to 20 minute dinners, they got breakfast on the go, and they have easy options perfect for your busy lifestyle. And if you're alive in 2021, I'm assuming you have a busy lifestyle. It's, uh, it seems like we're not allowed not to. Also, HelloFresh offers 50 menu and market items each week, including ready to eat salads, sandwiches, and soups. Everybody loves soup. It's like a universal truth. Enjoy a wide variety of easy, delicious options for all three meals a day, plus every snack and special treat in between. With the HelloFresh market, I can't say delicious options together to save my life. That that was the best one. 27 takes, that was the best one. Get a better value. HelloFresh is 28% cheaper than shopping at your local grocery store and 72% cheaper than a restaurant meal without sacrificing the quality. And that's according to the Zagat Dining Survey. That's not just me throwing around numbers. That's them throwing around numbers. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Face14 and use code Face14 for up to 14 free meals plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash Face14 and use code Face14. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Using the internet without ExpressVPN is like answering every phone call in your life on speakerphone, no matter where you are. A sensitive call from the doctor? You'll take it on speakerphone on the bus. That's what you're doing if you're not using something like ExpressVPN. Because ISPs like Comcast or Verizon, they know every single website you visit. Because internet service providers, and I'm not going to name them, you know who they are, you pay for one of them. They know every single website you visit. ISPs can then sell this information to ad companies and tech giants who then use your data to target you with very cleverly disguised ads for, oh, I don't know, uh, decorative spoons and ceramic thimbles, maybe. So why use ExpressVPN? I'll tell you why. So that you can protect your secure data. ExpressVPN creates a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet, so people can't peep on your online activity. That's what tunnels are for. They're for hiding stuff, getting something from point A to point B without the prying eyes. Fire up the app, click one button. It's rated number one by CNET, Wired, and The Verge, probably some other people. It works on phones, laptops, even routers, so that everybody who shares your Wi-Fi can also be protected. I like ExpressVPN most because when I'm thimbling, as we call it, I like to do it in private. I don't want Big Thimble or Big Spoon spying on me. I like to keep my transactions in the ceramic and collectible uh, market. I like to keep them to myself. It's my business and only mine. Secure your online activity by visiting expressvpn.com slash face today. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash face. It's kind of like a song. And you can get an extra three months free. Expressvpn.com slash face. Jeff, you're a chain guy. What's up? <laughs> apparently. You're a chain guy, apparently. <laughs> That's what I said when you told me you're a chain guy. What does that mean? I'm a chain guy now. I bought okay. a chain, and I wear it, and I like it. <laughs> and now I'm oh, a chain you, guy. You're you a mean? necklace guy. Yeah, I bought what? a chain. I bought like a, no. like a gold chain, and I've been wearing it to test it out and see if I like wearing a chain. And I do. And then uh, I, uh, I've discovered that I quite enjoy chains, and I'm a chain guy. Oh. This chain is a Cuban link chain, and I quite enjoy it. I think I might get another chain. Can we see a picture of this chain? I'd love to see a photo of the chain, and I want to say that when Jeff said I'm a chain guy, I bought a chain and I'm now wearing it, I immediately mm-hmm. went to like Rampage Jackson chain level. I didn't think <laughs> Jeff meant like a necklace. I thought I'll drop it in the Discord. I thought Jeff was going full Rampage Jackson, and I was all about it. I was very excited to see you walking around. I thought it was going to be like a full block- blockchain or something. Uh, no, no, I, no, 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 no. I, I, Andrew, I might be going in that direction. I mean, like, I'm a, you don't, nobody starts out as Mr. <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> Those photos are identical. Yeah, right? It's better than that same. <laughs> oh, I feel pretty. That looks like. <laughs> Who wore it better, huh? Who wore it better? <laughs> looks like a chain from <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> 
Oh, it's just a chain. It's like a guy's <laughs> chain. Are you not got even anything on it? Are you not going to put like a pendant or something? <sighs> or like no, a, a gem? Oh, like, like, oh. A, like a charm? No, I got it. I got it on the internet. <laughs> or a lock from, and, and, I got and it. Emily has the key. Or a, like a picture I, of Millie and me <laughs> and, a, and a locket. No, no, just the chain. <laughs> just the chain. I might get okay. a bigger one, though. You should absolutely get a bigger one. I'm I don't know happy that I'll for you. get one as large as Rampage's, but I, I, I would like to add, I, I would like to at some point get to a, I'd like to have enough chains where it's an issue with the airport. <laughs> oh. So Maybe. do you wear this to bed? Do you sleep in this chain? Yeah, you just live in it. You don't take them off because they're hard as fuck to take on and off. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just on me 24 hours a day. I've been wearing it for about a month now and I'm, I'm digging it. Yeah. Usually keep it. Usually keep it tucked under the shirt so it's uh, subtle. You don't see it a lot. Gavin, for instance, we we spent an entire soccer game together. You had no idea I was rocking a chain. The you were wearing time. that then? Every second. There's weekend. no way. I gotta look at our <laughs> selfie. There's no way. Look at the selfie. There'll be a chain around my neck. It's probably tucked in my shirt, but you'll still be able to see. Oh, it. I I guess I didn't take a picture with you. I just took one with Millie. <laughs> <laughs> well, that makes sense. <laughs> I'm I'm happy that you're a chain guy, Jeff. But I, I got to say, this is like the most disappointing version of that lead-in. I I didn't mean to disappoint you. I'm not sure how else I should have should have presented it to you. I I used language that Gav that that Andrew specifically would understand. Andrew, the I'm a blank guy. So I said I'm a chain guy. <laughs> I was trying to speak to you in your vernacular. You do appear to be a chain guy. Oh, while I was looking for that picture, I found the picture I took of Jack at that football game. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely Jack. <laughs> also, you have no idea how far away that actually was from us. That's the that's really zoomed. <laughs> we we took a bunch of pictures and then we zoomed in and uh, for about thirty minutes trying to find Jack until we finally did. Since you are you are a chain guy, Jeff, can I suggest some chains to you? Oh, some so maybe some things to add to your please do your collection. Okay, so I'm gonna go first of all with uh, the classic stylish it's been around forever maybe a nice uh, squid word I, I'm solid not, I'm, gold that looks expensive it's that's not, not it's like a hundred dollars oh yeah, that's, that's also patrick you're right squidward, yeah. you're that's right patrick star that's patrick i was wildly inaccurate uh what about uh rocket power you fan of rocket power don't know that do rocket power look at them on a skateboard you like the skateboard I do you like, like skateboards. skateboards i'm not familiar with that brand that's pretty that cool though cool. yeah those are top two. Uh, the last one I have, not a necklace, but maybe you want to expand. Are you a ring guy? Are you into rings? Not yet. Well, now you can be because a big achievement fan, achievement hunter, <laughs> you got to be stylish with Xbox. You got to be, oh boy, round it out. That seems more like an Eric than, a, than me, but I like it. <laughs> if you would have posted you wearing that Patrick chain, I would have been all about it. I, I might do greatest. it. Who knows? Well, I'd, I'd be a fan. See. Yeah. I'd support it. You got to work your way up to it. I feel like a chain is something you work your way up to. You got to build the kind of confidence and the kind of presence that allows one to have a chain. I don't think you just like you don't just walk out of the store. Yeah. Looking like Rampage Jackson. I don't understand the path to that, though. Like, who did you see with a chain? And then you thought, <laughs> mm -hmm, yeah, that's me. You didn't just think I'm going to get a chain. I was thinking about Mr. T. Yeah, I was thinking about how cool Mr. T was. <laughs> really? When I was a kid. And then I was thinking about uh, like how I always wanted to be like Mr. T. And then I thought, well, Mr. T, and I was like, he wore a lot of jewelry. And I was like, why don't I wear jewelry? And then I looked and I have, you know, I wear, I've always worn a rubber band and I have my fart bracelet. And then I thought like, well, my, my wrists are pretty full. I can't get an ankle bracelet. That would be weird. The only thing left is I only, <laughs> the only other stick I have to, to put something around is my neck. So I said, fuck it. I'll be a little baby Mr. T. How are you going to incorporate snacks onto the necklace? That's, yes, exactly. That's, a, that's another question, right? It's like, here I am designing f edible jewelry, yet I don't wear jewelry. So I can only assume that over time, I will, uh, I, I will glean some insights that will help. So this is like bracelet. gateway jewelry. Yeah, yeah, right? Like, you got you to gotta live it to understand it, to sell it. What do you have to do to become someone who wears two chains? What is the elevation to that? Because I assume your next chain will be swapped. If you're saying like building up the chain line, I don't know. How do you achieve two levels of chains? I honestly don't know. I'm worried. I'm just worried about you. The amount that you fall off your bike, I'm worried that that's going to get caught on something <laughs> and you're going to be just hanging from a bridge by your chain. <laughs> Speaking of falling off my bike, though, I did not fall off my bike today. 
thank God. That's it. That's your story. You didn't. Well, <laughs> see, yeah. Well, I so I've been working on a new trick, and uh, okay, <laughs> today was the day, <laughs> and I didn't fall. I made. I did my trick. <laughs> what is the awesome. trick? All right. Did you so, record it? Is there video of the trick? No, 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 no. There's no video. But so, like, uh, you know, where, oh, when man. I ride my bike, I have my my route that I go, and there are yeah, some spots well, that I like to do. When fun the bike stuff. rides, yeah, the bike rides. I like to do some fun stuff, like the the area where I uh, I go up the side of the the hill uh, or the bo- where I crashed in the snow. You, and the s- ice. you still do that, huh? Oh yeah, I still do it. Now. <laughs> uh, I, I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. It took me a while to 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 feel okay doing it again, and then I did a babies for a while, uh, and now I'm back to doing it. Now I'm back to bombing it at full speed again. So there's this other area where you come out of a tunnel, and immediately it takes a hard right up a hill. But uh, on the left is like a wall, kind of like a, a leveled embankment, kind of like the one that I wreck on. But this one, it wraps away, so it's like convex a little bit, right? And this, this wall frustrates me because it, it's very inviting to ride a bicycle up. You, but because of the way it's convex, it's very easy to lose your, right, your rear tire and have it spin out from under you and cause you to wreck. And that, I would say that happens probably... Seven out of ten times I try to uh, navigate this thing. Uh, it's pretty common that I that I my tire spins out. The problem is, is like you come out of this tunnel and then you make an immediate right turn. If you go straight where the right turn is, that's a bridge over a culvert, like a drainage ditch that goes about four feet down. So if you hit this, if you come out of the tunnel and you hit this wall to the left and right up it, it's impossible to turn around and come down fast enough to make the path you will either do one of two things. You'll either fall right off of it and take the four foot plunge, which I've done. That's not fun. Uh, you'll miss it, go down the four foot, de- just miss it, go down the area, and then slam into the wall at about elbow uh, length. And that sucks. But I realized today that if you just keep riding a little bit, no, I didn't realize, I realized recently, I, I was able to do it today, that if you keep going a little bit on that wall and then you just go down into the culvert, uh, you can, there's a, a lip on the other side that's pretty tall, but if you hit it fast enough, you can jump it and then land on the path and then keep going in theory, right? Now, the problem mm-hmm. with that is you got to hit that thing at speed um, and you got to build that speed up going higher up on this embankment and then sw- swinging back around, bombing that. And then you got to hit it hard enough because it's the top, it's like a, it's like a teeter-totter and there's no, like it's a real sharp berm and you have to jump it in theory and then table do like a bunny hop over it or the bottom of the bike will definitely drag and you will fall. I know that because I tried this at quarter speed uh, like a week ago and uh, that's where I wrecked. And then I tried it at half speed <laughs> and that's where I wrecked. And then I, I tried it at half speed again and I wrecked in a different place and there. <laughs> so I've done this a few times and I realized that the only way to do it successfully is, uh, is to do it at speed. And today, today I said, fuck it. Uh, I don't have to go out of town for a couple days, so I, I can handle a bruise or a scab. And so I, I just fucking hit it. <laughs> I hit it full speed, and I was like, who knows what's going to happen? And I jumped the shit out of it. It was awesome. It was like a movie. It was like <laughs> rad and gleaming the cube all at once. I fucking, I was, I was seven feet tall, and I had a giant penis by the end of it. It was amazing. I couldn't believe I did it. What if we cut a sick trailer for f- face? I'll bring the Phantom, and we'll film you do that. <laughs> How much air is involved? Emily has been trying to get me to cut a trailer where I just spin out on my bike and go like, <laughs> face, break shit. And then I haven't gotten around to doing it. But uh, I think it's a great idea. I, I also think that you would look at it and go like, that's not hard at all. But it's been hard. It's hard for me. <laughs> hard for a 46-year-old dude. Requires a lot of coordination. Requires a lot of sketchy shit. I've already wrecked my bike oh, like a whole. But what's hard if you're not actually, I, like, I assume you're not pedaling. Yeah, yeah, you got to pedal to build up speed. And then you got to ride. You got to ride up the side of this wall high enough then navigate down. And like I said, it's convex. So the back tire really wants to swing out from under you, which when that happens, you're eight and a half feet in the air falling backwards down a concrete embankment with your bike going on top of you. Uh, been there, not great. Uh, it's, it's a lot to put together, uh, especially at my advanced age. I'll be honest. I, I listened to everything you said and I was listening to, you know, all the stuff about the culverts and the berms and stuff. Mm-hmm. I, if you asked me to draw a diagram of what you actually did, <laughs> I would have absolutely no idea at all i wouldn't even know where to start at what this looks like from yeah. like a bystander's point of view i'll take a picture next time i'm there and then i can draw <laughs> the path the i can draw the path how about that i i would love to see the video shoot of this i think it'd be a great trailer andrew you listen to all that right 
I did. I yeah. I listened. I have no idea. If you had to draw that, what 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 would you put? I it would be a wall, and then like <laughs> I don't know what I do. A I wall that you can ride up. Yeah, so it'd be like kind of a side wall, I guess, and then a loop. And it sounds like your trick is just ollieing. If that's what <laughs> no, the trick the, is you like ride a up a hop. wall. No, the trick is you come out of a turn, immediately <laughs> ride up, take a left, ride up a wall, go about eight uh, feet in the air up on the wall, to come down the wall. Then bomb a hit, bomb a culvert, and then go up the other side, and then jump it. And uh, so yeah, I'm kind of imagining like a uh, like a bowl, Gavin. You know, like a skateboard. Bowl. Like he's going yeah. up and then down. It's like transitioning into a half pipe, kind of. I don't feel like I. And then jumping. I can't out imagine. Of it. I feel like it's less impressive. We're gonna. Ha I'm gonna have to come out and film this. I need to see what's going on. I, okay. I just yeah. I I don't understand what exactly how this works, and I don't. You seem to be applying like your way to generate speed as part of the trick, and I don't feel like that's the trick. I feel like the trick is landing the air <laughs> gap that you make. The air I don't gap think is it's the most the wall dif thing. difficult part. The wall thing is a little is sketchy too. I it, think. Listen, if you'd wrecked on that wall as many times as I have, you'd you'd have a healthy fear of it. That's fair, but hey, you look good doing it with your chain. Look fantastic. Well, I, yeah, <laughs> I, I hadn't considered that, but I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, I, I do look good. I cannot it. wait for Jeff to be pulled by his automated bike when his chain gets caught in the sprockets. <laughs> Some woman's just going to be delivering cucumbers to the next house and just see Jeff be dragged down the street. <laughs> if that were to happen, I hope to God somebody films it. <laughs> oh, just a guy being pulled by a bike with no one on it. <laughs> <laughs> but he's doing all the work. Just putting all that effort into that bike. It's it's barely assisting at all. Yeah, I want I want to make that trailer. That sounds good. Well, well let's do it. I'm all about it, dude. I, I've, been, like? I've been practicing this trip for a while. This <laughs> trick for a while. It's not too far from where you. Yeah, it's uh, easy for you to get to, Gab. Pretty sunny this weekend. I'm um, fucking. I'll be hitting that. I hit. I'll be hitting that. I'll be doing that trick every day between now and uh, until I probably until I wreck and then I talk myself. Into I'll, doing I'll just go to that spot. You could just continue your bike ride. I'll just grab the shot and you just carry on. Just say hi. Please. And go the problem is, <laughs> is now that I've done it successfully once, uh, I feel like I can I'll have to do it every time. <laughs> and uh, then I'll just get then I'll just get braver and braver and faster and faster. And then uh, that's when it gets worse. Are you the kind of person that when when someone's filming you, are you the kind of person who would hit it with even more speed or would you get nervous <laughs> and slow down? Because there's two types of people. I would overcompensate by hitting it with more speed. That's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. Yep. Yeah. What were you going to yeah. say, Andrew? I was just hoping that you guys can do this this weekend. I'm now, my, I'm excited if that is really in play. Or is this happening this weekend? Well, if we I, lock if this I in grab now? the Phantom, bring it out there, I think we could do it. I fucking, I yeah, this dude. should happen. I, I, I will. I can't wait. We, by I'm the way, so excited. We were supposed to, you were supposed to invite me over to go swimming this week. In midweek, it's Thursday. You never did that. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> I just oh. remembered. I just remembered, just now. Oh, I had other people <laughs> over again. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> the no, chances we'll I are I know those people and they probably like me. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, oh. Maybe Gavin doesn't like you. I No, that's, 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 that's yeah. That's, yeah I'm, you're I'm, right. I'm it was meant to be a midweek hang. Andrew, I'm starting to pick up on the idea that maybe Gavin doesn't like me. It's 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 taken it a while to sink in, but it's becoming unavoidably clear. No, nah, not remotely true. I think no. This is what happened. You were like, <laughs> you asked me, "Are you free on Thursday?" And I said, "But you're not, because <laughs> we're doing this." And you're like, "Oh." No, I said, "Are you free on Wednesday?" Because Emily's off on Wednesday, and that'd be the best day. And you're like, yeah, well, uh, uh, and I said, okay, just let us know. And you're like, yeah, all right, I'm going to invite some other people over, and then we'll have fun, and then uh, suck my butt. Yeah, I, I messed that up. <laughs> <laughs> I botched that, didn't I? <laughs> I will say, Jeff, I don't think you need to be worried. I don't expect our friendship to exist outside of the recordings of this podcast. <laughs> I, I would say tomorrow, but we've got a break shit, and we've got a, and we've got a D box. And you got, yeah, you got other people. I get it. The D box family. Yeah. yeah. I don't think you should be worried, Jeff, until Gavin invites me ahead of you. Then you've got a problem <laughs> when I'm getting an out-of-country invite. You, you wouldn't come, though. Even if, you, even if he did and you came, I wouldn't find out about it for like six months anyway. It's cool. If you invited me in a non-COVID world, if you invited me to a lunch on, let's say, a Thursday, and it was a Monday, and I got the invite, I would, I would make that lunch. So post-COVID, I can give you three days' notice for an invite in Austin, and you'll be there? I'll be there. That's dangerous. Yeah. 
You don't think I'm going to test? I'm going to test the shit out of that. Yeah, but then if I don't go, I don't lose anything. When is post COVID? <laughs> 2025. It's that's a great. That's a great point. Yeah, six years from now. <laughs> Do you know that Andrew texted me the other day and he said he missed outskirts? I did. I not even okay. So this goes deeper than Gavin even realizes. Uh oh. I was just so I had the whole Property Brothers thing, and they've done stuff to that app that is crazy that I don't need to get into. But it's just they made some bizarre decisions on how that thing works. You got some more um, pay to win. It's less pay to win. Okay, so I didn't plan on getting into it, but so how you play Property Brothers if you don't want to spend money is whenever you fully upgrade a house, you get one hour of unlimited plays. If you don't do that, you have to wait for your energy to fill. So you'd have to be really smart with like timing. Okay, I'm going to upgrade this house that I have one hour to make as much cash as I can to upgrade the next house so I could try to chain it so I'm not having to wait for my thing to recharge. I didn't really notice this. There were no ads in that game. Like typically when you play a free mobile game, you're constantly getting video ads. They had none. They finally added them. But what happens is you can either watch an ad to like gain energy or when you play a level, if you don't beat it, they give you an option of end the level or pay money to keep playing like five more turns or watch this ad and get two more turns. So I was like, oh, I can finish this in two more turns. I'll watch this ad. I do it. I failed. I couldn't beat it. Then I got the same prompt. You can watch as many ads as you want and just keep playing the level. You will never lose as long as you're willing to watch an ad. You get two more turns. I did it for eight turns. You watched eight ads? I watched four ads. Oh. I got two turns per ad. I watched four ads, did eight turns, beat the level, but it has completely ruined their microtransaction system, which is crazy to me. Because they don't you care. Buy, they make money off the ads. But you, I just feel like they would be... I've never played a mobile game where you can't lose, and they've also <laughs> completely <laughs> negated the reason for They make money either money way. On. I don't know. Why, why don't you see that? I understand as- what you're saying. No, I, I get it, but it's just such an odd way to do it. Like, why even have the entire store they've rendered pointless? I'm just... I have to watch a 15-second ad. It's like they've given up on selling things. That's what it is interesting about it. I've never <laughs> maybe, seen a mobile game do that. Maybe no one was doing the microtransactions. That's yeah, I think that's logically probably what happened, but I've never seen a game just declare like we our store is pointless. Do not spend money here. <laughs> just watch these ads, keep playing. So I've moved on to there's a Gordon Ramsay mobile game called like Chef's Blast. Oh my god. And it's god. Just, this is a weird thing. So I was playing that and he does a surprising amount of voice work for it. Um, so I was like, this is ridiculous. You're solving puzzles. You're unlocking recipes. I think I could go two weeks just with the recipes I've unlocked. It was a weird kind of just random challenge idea I had. But I'm playing this, and so I shared it as a joke. I like tweeted about it, and then I made a team for it. So I posted in the Discord, like, hey, anyone who wants to join my Gordon Ramsay Chef Blast team, this is what you search for. And uh, I woke up later, and a bunch of people joined, and there's a leaderboard for the team thing, and it became super competitive, and I ended up spending my whole weekend playing Chef's Blast. I cleared 100 puzzle levels in the first day, and it just (laughs) kept going. Just everyone got super into it, and I realized part of that is that I missed doing outskirts. Like, I needed something competitive (laughs) to fill that spot in my life, and it turned into Gordon Ramsay's Chef Blast. People have gone miles. They've beaten the game. There's like 480 levels to Chef Blast. Somebody beat it. Like, it's absurd how into it everybody got but it just turned into this is a joke to waking up of like this is now the most important thing of my life and i'm actually doing this because i miss outskirts as crazy as that is. there was something so special about outskirts from my perspective because i really loved your streams it was it was like my favorite tv show of the week (laughs) but but imagine if to get your tv show to come on you had to play halo better than the tv show could and then the tv show comes on (laughs) And then I'm so excited for the TV show to come on. And then the TV show just kicks you in the testicles. And then it's back on you for the next time. It's a really odd way to consume content. Does it have to be... Like, was there something special about Outskirts that made it unique to that challenge? Or could you play any other Halo level and just do it again? (laughs) You don't have to shoot anything. Yeah, well, Uh, in my opinion, no. I think we could do other levels. It's just I'm waiting for Gavin to make that call. If he uh, wants to pick another level, I'd love to do it. I suggested ODST. Andrew sounds desperate, man. He's playing fucking pay to win mobile. (laughs) I'm playing Chef Flash. He's desperate. He's been, ever since Outskirts ended, he's been just coming up with ideas left and right. And they're all very good ideas. But I still think the thing that would anger him most is losing at Outskirts again. Well, yeah, I talked. The problem with it, though, is 
So th before we did any of this, before face was even a thing, I got into an argument with somebody about who had a higher leaderboard ranking in trials. And I saw that Gavin had all the best beginner times. And I think I've talked about this already. Yeah, we talked I challenged it. Gavin and I beat all of his times but one. And I played it every day because trials is so easy to drop in and out of. It was how I started my morning and it took me 100 days to beat Gavin's time. I just do it every day. And you can't really do that with outskirts. Like you need momentum. It's at least like an hour long commitment to even get a run like you can't there's a flow to it. So it's, it's tough. I know you want to be that time. I just don't see you ever having a large enough block that you could purely dedicate to purely annoy me to just annoy. me. Yeah, I don't think it happens. There, there will be a time in my future where I can do that. I think probably I think it'd be more interesting, though, if we just picked a different level. Mm. You know what? You know what, Andrew Padton? What? If I go to England, I'm going to have to quarantine. For like uh -huh. ten days or five, <laughs> oh. if I if I do the test after day five, uh huh, that might be all I need. Are you doing out? Are you saying for like an outskirts? You're going to set a new outskirts time? Maybe. Just got to bring an Xbox. Five straight days of outskirts. Oh, I think I can get that done. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you were so like unhappy. Fuck. I I talked to you on that last day, the day you lost, and I've never heard you sound so depressed, Gavin. <sighs> it was sad. It was it's the end of something special for us. It was, uh, and also the the it's gone. Like those streams have vanished. Twitch has removed them. They I guess expired. So there's no VOD of that happening. Why didn't you save point. them? I didn't. Uh, well, typically they last like a month, and they changed their policies <laughs> and like how long they last. It was like a week. Um, Does that mean Donkey Kong's gone as well? <laughs> oh, Donkey Kong is long gone, but nobody <laughs> needed to see Donkey Kong. I lo um, I love this because I agree that with Gavin that it's it turned into great TV. My favorite TV of the last few years was when Andrew was doing his uh, winner, winner, chicken dinner monthly challenge in uh, PUBG and then those streams in, uh, in Halo. Except it's even better for me because it never punches me in the face. I just get to watch it and then dip out. <laughs> so I would love it if you guys would strike this up again because I, I, I'll be honest with you, man, I'm I've watched 11 seasons of Survivor in the last three weeks and I, I could use a diff, uh, maybe some variety. <laughs> <laughs> I think the best part of when I texted Gavin that I missed outskirts, I put a question mark on it. Like I, in my core, I didn't mean to, but my core was just like, do you actually? Because it was terrible while you're in it. Is this like you're just remembering the good parts, the fun of it. But I would love to have another outskirts in our life. That was fun. One day. One day. We'll see. I mean, it sounds like it could be close depending on. Uh, I, I told Gavin this. So last time we talked about this, you presented it as like, I would be annoyed by it. And I was very much like, no, I'd be fine. I'm, I'm happy with where it was. I tried to get the time back. I wanted to do like the King of Kong thing, you know, where like Steve Weeb sets the new record. And then Billy Mitchell has that like has random video VHS. tape. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I just like submits a VHS tape of the new time. I wanted to get a time faster than the 339 and just sit at that final checkpoint and wait for you. And I just, I tried and I, I was impatient. I was like, I think this might be it. I got 340. I don't think I'll ever pass 339. <laughs> so if you hit like a 338, maybe it's, it's like the minimile mile or whatever. Like it's good. The bar will be raced. Oh, just getting flashbacks. It's a miserable time <laughs> while you're in it. Ah, it's fun. It'll be fun. Think about how much fun everybody but you has. Why don't you try it? I would love to see Jeff try it. Oh, no, it's okay. I don't have to do that kind of stuff. I'm, I'm going to do a sweet BM. I'm going to do the sweet bike trick. I'll do that. I, I, I provide entertainment in, in scabs for f face. Uh, you guys okay. do the video game. Uh, scabs and chains. Yeah, scabs and chains, baby. And shit. And just literal shit. That, that tell you guys about, about my shit triangle this week? No. no. Fucking hell. So the other day I wake up uh, and I see Arrow in the hallway and Emily, usually I get up, you know, she, she barks and lets me know sometime between typically about 5 a.m. and 7 a.m. Hey, dickhead, if you, uh, I need to go to the bathroom and if I encounter one second of resistance, I'm going to do it uh, all over everything, you know? So I run out and I try to get her outside and I'm successful 99% of the time. But uh, this, I guess maybe Monday or Tuesday, Emily got up to go to work and I slept in a little bit. And so she let Arrow out 
And then I just felt weird. And so I got up and I looked and Arrow, I just saw Arrow in the hallway, but something felt odd. I couldn't figure it out. And then I realized she was taking a shit in the hallway. So I ran in there and I was like, oh no, the sliding glass door had been left shut. So I went to open it and like kind of run around her while she's dumping on the carpet in the hallway. And I fucking, first off, I kicked, I kicked the shit barefoot. So I got some shit on my big toe. Uh, it's like 7, 7.15 in the morning and I got a shitty big toe. And I hit the, so I just keep, I just don't break stride. I just keep running into the kitchen to get to the paper towels or something. How did you kick it though? Because surely you were looking I was like, I was trying it. to, I was trying to run around her <laughs> and I just like, she didn't shit the straight line anymore. She's old. And so there was like, there was like, it was a, it was like a landmine of turds to na- circumnavigate, and so I clipped one. Uh, anyway, and so I get into the kitchen, and as I'm realizing there's a little bit of duty on my toe, I hit. I didn't see this because the lights are. I hit the P, and I slide across the kitchen on P. Uh, I don't fall. I don't fall, but I definitely do like uh, Tom Cruise risky business, mm-hmm. uh, it, but, but barefoot across the P. And then so I'm like now both feet are just soaked in piss, and I still got the duty. And I'm like, and I spring into action. I clean it all up. It's no big deal. Emily actually cleans most of it up because she was horrified. You keep going. You slide up the wall, up the cold. No, 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 no. no. And that was it. That was it, right? That was it. Then, uh, <laughs> then later that day, I was outside cleaning up dog shit and I was barefoot. <laughs> and I cleaned up all the dog shit and I turned around and I stepped right in a big pile of dog shit that I missed. And I like, like I looked down as I stepped in it, it like, sque- it like, sque- it's like, like squeezed up through my toes. Like Why I could you see, be barefoot? Dude, I just, I just didn't think, you know? And, and so there was like a pee incident and then two poopy incidents, right? Oh, oh, th- so that I count the pee and the poop one together. So then I was getting in Emily's car the other day cause we had to take Henry. Uh, Henry needed to go to the doctor. Uh, was it because of his sneeze? <laughs> no, he had a funny sneeze around you though. No, he has a, <laughs> it was a, yeah, it's uh, some other stuff. But, uh, and I guess he, uh, he'd been stressed out because he had to visit a cardiologist and he had to wear like a special doggy vest and he had uh, maybe leaked a little poop in the seat and I didn't know it and I just sat right down in it. <laughs> and then Emily's like, uh, hold on. And then oh. she ran in the house and ran back out. I didn't even know. And then she like gets me up and I realize that I've sat in, in a little bit of yeah. butt squirt. Uh, so that, that was all in the span of two days. And then it hit me, it it hit me that with the exception of those three incidents, things have been going pretty well for me since I I got back from Florida. Uh And I think I, I think I realized that if I don't step on shit, shit steps on me. (laughs) And that's, that's when I realized that that's my place in the universe. I got to stop trying to avoid the literal shit in my life. That my the universe will let me <laughs> exist in a like a reasonably like a C plus B minus life man <laughs> manner as long as I stop trying to trying to jump my station uh, trying to try, try to live above the literal feces and urine of of the universe uh, that's not going to work for me right anytime I try to get a big head and I try to think like oh no I'm better than dog shit. And I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna live a life that doesn't require me to 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 live in in, in mired in dog shit and and human shit and other kinds of shit. <laughs> uh, the universe says uh, it hits me, it knocks me, whack a moles me right back into the turds, right? So I'm just <laughs> I'm just gonna embrace it and just be just I'm I'm not gonna be better. I'm not gonna try to be better than shit anymore. I'm just gonna step on the shit. You can at least make it easier and not be barefoot all the time. <laughs> I mean, that is true. You can uh, reduce like- how often. I don't think it's I don't think it's out of the ordinary to expect to be barefoot in my kitchen in my hallway at seven in the morning. <laughs> I thought you were a sock I guy. I wear shoes enough. I thought you were a big I had, sock well, person. I had just I had just I, always I had just about woken socks. up. I hadn't taken a shower yet. I hadn't gotten dressed yet. I was in underwear walking. You know. I feel like a, I mean a shoe a, a sock is no better than a barefoot. Yeah, a sock in some ways would be worse in yeah, that I think situation. A sock and I'd have to worse. wash a That's sock. True. Yeah, I'd, I'd already throw the sock away, right? And then I'd lose a fucking sock. That was more of my annoyance that you called me weird for never being a sock person. That's, Dude, that's what that comment was about. I issued the first, and to my recollection, only official <laughs> face retraction over this. <laughs> that is true. I, I apologized that and, is true. and it admitted the heaps of hypocrisy that I, that I, that I reaped on you. It's, uh, I, I can only apologize so much, Andrew. That's fair. Would you like to confess now you didn't drink the soda before and that this is the first real attempt? I 100% drank the soda. 
It just and and Nick went back and listened to it again, and he even verified that he could hear it. <laughs> and just to prove this time, I post I couldn't post it on Discord for some reason, so I fucking uh, I I posted the video of me drinking it in the Slack. You guys can watch me drink the stupid I did. thing. Yep. Oh, let me see. Second yeah, let me one see was this. verified. Was I just watched there. it. Yep. Yeah. You, you, I was there. You did great. Just drinking it. Yeah. You slammed yeah. it. Drank the shit out of it. It's great not chug. hard. If I had more sodas, I would do the two and do the thirty seconds. Oh, so. does it look? Eric just said it looks like a small Coke. Was that a regulation can? Yeah, it's 300, hold on, 355 nah, yeah, that, that, that milliliters, looks, 12 fluid ounces. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that looks regulation. It's a good chug. You're very faster, I mean, as far as timing goes. Get a nice view of the shelves in the background, too. It's <laughs> yeah. very important. I, Gavin came over, and he saw the shelves for the first time, and then he, uh, he seemed to dislike my podcast setup. He just kept saying, I don't... It doesn't seem like where you would record. This doesn't feel right. I don't... He no, seemed I just, bothered I, by it. When I picture you doing this like when i'm picturing you right now you're not in there for some reason where am i where do you pick i don't yeah. know i don't know <laughs> i mean I, it, now that i've been now that i've set foot in there i, I can picture you better more what I can... <laughs> <laughs> but like right now i can't really picture andrew i've never seen andrew's entire room i don't think so i don't i don't really see him in my mind in like a i'd love to see in a you do like a blueprint of like what you think it looks like the setup that's a great question. When, you, when I see Andrew's bedroom, the first thing that pops into me, I see a wall. On the left is a door. To the right is a bed with a nightstand with a bunch of things that don't belong on it. Then on the floor <laughs> on the left is a sushi container. No. And yeah. in, in the bed is uh, a keyboard that's <laughs> as big as the bed. And then behind me, I can't see it, but I assume is a desk and a fire extinguisher. And that's Andrew's room to me. Yeah, I'm seeing the bed in the corner. It's got the eight pillars. It's got the keyboard. There is a bunch of just shit and sushi and ming and all. I'm probably like a mashed in muffin or something. No. On the floor. And then a fridge, a sauce drawer, a, a desk that isn't suitable as a desk. Probably more of like a drawer thing. <laughs> it's made I, of I, Lego. I feel like I could do you a diagram. I'd love to see a diagram. Of we what you should think. both draw ga uh, draw Andrew's bedroom. Yeah, I'd love to see. Yeah, that. okay, I want to do that. Okay, I, that's a great idea. No, <laughs> the top standard ears. <laughs> <laughs> like Andrew, do you do you picture Jeff in his shelf room? Like whenever we're doing these audio only, I I picture Jeff as just purely in a room of shelves. I only see shelves. There's nothing else in the room. There's no door. <laughs> he from an IKEA. He is, yeah, it's sort of like the end of Interstellar, where the, we're, we're leaning in Interstellar, but like the bookshelf thing, like going down, that's just all I see. It's just shelving everywhere, is how I imagine Jeff's set up. And he's just looking between the books at just different piles <laughs> yeah, of shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what I see. <laughs> it's all just left socks and turds. <laughs> here, here, this is what I'm, this is what you would see. That's a lot less interesting than what I imagined. It's just, it looks <laughs> yeah, like a I'm nice sorry space. that there's... I, I, I just picked up all my left socks off the floor, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Did you tuck the chain back in? I don't see the chain. Did the chain yeah, go the back chain's, under? Yeah, the chain's back okay. in. Oh, I yeah. see it. Chain I see back under. Left. Okay. Yeah. It's around. Don't okay. worry, man. Chain's okay. always there. I'm a chain guy now. All right, so Andrew, if, if we both draw your room, could you right. then turn around in your chair and take a picture of it for, the, sure. for next week or something so we can cross-reference? Uh, yeah, I could do that. Okay. I can do that. So uh, the, our homework is that we'll both draw a schematic of your bedroom. Now, can, can you give us any instruction? Like, obviously, like the nose at the top standard ears, which were actually very good instructions, I thought. Okay. Can you give us any tips on the room? Yeah, here? okay. You want me to explain the layout? Kind of like the key landmarks? Well, the don't, give, don't give too much away, but just like something that needs to be in there that you think we'll like never for, get. For instance, how many okay. doors are in the room? Three doors. How many? You said three? <laughs> I have three so bedroom, doors. bathroom, and closet. Uh, I don't have uh, four doors. I guess technically, if you want it. Well, there could Dude, be a what? door there. It could hypothetically be a door. There isn't a door, but there could be a door to that space. Uh, there's three. There's now three I'm doors. Just gonna, I'm gonna okay. imagine something out of Monsters Inc. Door. <sighs> door at the front. Door at the front left. Door at the front right. Wait! 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 <laughs> So, okay, so say say we're looking at, we're drawing this from the perspective of if you had a webcam. Okay, yeah. Are there four doors in the view? I don't think you'd see any of the doors in the view if I had a webcam. <laughs> <sighs> I 
If I had a webcam, yeah, I don't think you'd see any of the. You might. Well, okay. maybe there's like okay, one. No, no doors. <laughs> How many windows are in the room? Uh, uh does it? Uh, oh my god. Te well, technically two. <laughs> technically two. And how many can we see from there? Like, like if we're trying to match Jeff's picture, I'm trying to figure out what the range would be of the webcam of what would be. Uh, you would maybe, uh. you would maybe, you'd maybe see like half a window. <laughs> window at the half. back, okay. <laughs> door to the front. Well, not too far to the back. Door to the front. Standard what do you mean doors. The front? Well, I just, I don't know. I'm giving instructions. You wanted me to not be specific. Door to the front. <laughs> door at the top. Standard doors to the side. Everything you're doing is making it worse. So the door is behind where the camera would be. Uh, one of the doors. Yeah, one of the doors. Yeah, is behind <laughs> the camera. I thought the camera was against the desk, which was against the wall where the window is. Uh, uh no. The wall... <laughs> The wall, so the what camera. What shape is this room? How many walls do you have? Uh, well, one, two. It's a four. It's a standard. It's a regulation four-walled room. Okay, there's a standard box. Regulation. Yep, but standard somehow box. four doors on one wall. Uh, there's, there's no, there's a door on every wall but one. <laughs> okay. We got multiple doors. So we're looking at the wall without doors. Uh, yeah, you'd see the door without walls. The, the what? The, the door, the wall, the wall without doors. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you know what I mean? It. Yeah. There's wall at the back. Wall back. This is like the end of it to stop. <laughs> is your, is your, what's at the end of your bed on the other side? Like your bed, it goes up against the wall. And then if you were like to scoot off of the front of it. I've just fully moved into the McDonald's and I don't want to admit it. <laughs> I'm just Where's creating the a space. Where's the ball? Um, it sits to the back, obviously. Back left. What if? Oh, we're never, we're never gonna find his damn apartment with his own instructions. We're gonna find where he's in his own room. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Well, you want me to be vague? I could give very detailed instructions, but you wanna, you gotta kind of figure out where things are. Okay. All right. Doors if at you the feel top. Like we've got all the instructions. <laughs> what? Doors at the top. Where do the all doors, doors go? Are at the top. They're all. At the where front. do the doors what? go? Where do they lead? What do you mean yeah. by that? What do you mean they're at the top? The yeah, top they're of at what? the top. Well, the top of the, you know, if you're doing a space, doors at the top. Uh, dude, doors that makes at the top. no sense. Like they're not on the floor? What do you mean? Ceiling doors? No, I'm, I'm doing it under the system of uh, nose at the top, doors oh. at the top. <laughs> oh, okay. Doors at the top. And then standard windows. Standard window. Well, it's a pretty, <laughs> no, I think one of them is not a standard window. Is a window in a door a window or is it just a door that has a window? <laughs> Yeah, I've had dreams of it. Count? Sense like this. So one of your doors has a window in it? Yeah, my one of the doors has a window in it. So I don't Is know it an external that... door? Does it go outside the house? Yes, it does. Oh, okay. So you have a door. Thank you. This this actually helps. So you have a door to your bathroom, a door to the interior of your house, and yes. then an exterior door. That is correct. I had no idea you had an exterior door. I have bedroom. an exterior. I have an exterior door. Well, it doesn't. You know, it's it's. Uh, it doesn't lead to. I can't just. I have a very limited space. I can go to. And where are we on the like the appliances in there? Do we have the Keurig in there still? We have the Keurig in there. The waffle makers in my kitchen now. I made a waffle okay. recently. Actually, it's very good. So, yeah, where's the piss lady in reference to this? <laughs> She's to yeah, the left. Which window? She's okay, to the left. Yeah. Did you see her through the window in the door or through the non-standard wall Great window? Great question. It was the door window. Door window. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I would never, I'd never used the, the window window. This is, <laughs> this, is changed, this has changed the geography of your bedroom for me. I almost, I will say, I, I had a brief moment. I bought an ice cream maker at, at like 12, 20 a.m. I had never, I, I just like, I want to make ice cream. I bought one. And then I went through the pro and I thought I could put it on the other end table so I could have a Keurig to the right and an ice cream maker to the left. I have a fridge. I could store what I needed. And then I realized I don't know how ice cream is made. Ice cream goes in the freezer. Yeah. Well, I could fig I could move it downstairs, but if I could just want like a little cone, like a cone for me, just a little make a little small batch. I don't know how ice cream works. 
I realized it's a lot of effort. I thought you just poured milk and like some chocolate and stuff, and it, you got like churn it up, haven't you? Well, it's yeah, cool. it's like a whole ch- it's a whole process. So it's are you I, doing like an old timey one? No, I googled what is the best ice cream maker, and then I found it on Amazon, and it was pretty cheap, so I bought it, and then uh, I I returned it or I canceled my order like an hour later because I realized <laughs> that's not a life I want to live. I'm not fully committed to the amount of effort it would take to properly use that thing. That's fair. <laughs> Plus, you've but barely it was a consideration. You've barely explored pickling, and that was a, a passing interest already. Well, I think you know I could be open to pickling. I had a, a surprise pickle, and I enjoy. Or no, it was pickled onion, right? I had on uh-huh. the Wendy's Korean burger. Yeah, yeah, that was good. I could be into pickled things. I have some cucumbers if you need them. Yeah, <laughs> I'd love some. I didn't know cucumbers were pickles. I talked about that before, but that was like a recent realization that blew my mind. Uh, but there are different things. Okay, well, should we stop doing this? I think we can. I think we covered. Did you have anything else you need to talk about? You're a chain guy. You're doing tricks. Gavin's going to film me on the weekend. What's for next week, Jeff? Oh, I guess I still had the tooth thing. I got a my. I do have a charger cheek. That that turned out to be a real thing. But we can save that for next week, or we don't ever have to talk about my mouth again because I fucking hate talking about my mouth and my teeth anymore. <laughs> Let's just say okay. I'm not not out of the woods. Let's just say there's a let's just say there's been a hole in my tooth for two fucking weeks and it's going to continue to be there for a little bit. Can we extend just to like anyone who who is listening to this? I'd love to see your blueprints of what I described. And maybe oh, we that's can a find like the closest one. If people could send in what they think based on the instructions, how it looks and we'll, we'll value. I might have to draw it from the top down. I'm done. I'm doing. Top oh, down. obviously, it's top yeah. down. Yeah. What way yeah. did you imagine it being drawn? I always assumed it was top down. I imagine like a blueprint. Yeah, well, I was I was just gonna draw it from like what Jeff's picture looks like. I was just gonna draw you. A oh, that would maybe. be weird. I think that's a well, strange. Apparently, way to do it, it would. There's no doors over there. Or yeah, anything. it would be a very boring view if you did that. I, I think you should do a top down, doors at the top, standard doors. All well, two of them are standard. <laughs> one of them has a window in it. That's the exterior <laughs> one. Okay, so okay, f- so the final piece of information I need. If we're drawing top down, okay. where is your desk? If I'm looking top down, desk at the top. Where's what? your bed? Bed at the back. Bed at the bottom. So wait, you're facing, you're facing Top. up. Yeah, I'm facing up. Oh god, that's confusing me already. All right. <laughs> the beds. At, wait, the desks at the top and the beds at the bottom. Yeah. And the doors are at the top. Doors are at the top. <laughs> and the external doors at the top. External doors at the top. <laughs> and the interior to your house doors at the top. And the Everything, bathroom doors at the top. All, all the doors are are top top of the area. Yes. If you drew a line. In the middle of the room, across, they would all be in the top area. Who would do that? What, so are you looking at a door? Uh, if I look to my left, like I could see a door. In my peripheral, I see a door. <laughs> I'm not looking at it, but it's in my peripheral vision. Yes. <laughs> Imagining a four-walled room with like four doors in one of the corners somehow. I don't know how it makes sense. I, it makes no goddamn sense, Gavin. I'm so confused. <laughs> They're at the top. All right, three Good doors. Deal. I'm gonna draw that. One closet. One. Co- that's important. One closet. Closet doesn't have a door. Could have a door. You could put a door there. But <laughs> now, is the closet? If we're looking at the top, at the fucking, at the wall of doors, you have an entire wall that's just doors. And then, no. so is is the closet to the left or the right? There's only one door per wall. They're just all at the top. Um, <laughs> okay. Wait. Oh, that's what. Well, oh, okay. You went, you went into your closet. <laughs> To avoid what does the that smoke mean? getting in the fire, to the smoke alarm, but it doesn't, it doesn't have a door. No, it's a walk-in closet. It's a little walk-in closet with no door. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't design it. I didn't build this place. You can put a door on it. How do you mean all four doors are at the top, but they're not Three all on the doors. same wall? Three doors. There, there's no, there's, if you want to call the closet a door that doesn't have a door, then there's technically one wall with two doors. But outside of that, there is one door per wall and they're all at the top. But they're not all on the same wall. Gavin, I, I hate this. <laughs> I'm going to have to listen to this back at like 0.5 speed. It's very simple. They're all, Gavin, it's very simple. All of the doors are at the top, but they're on There's different walls. Them. Yes, and I have four walls. <laughs> the non-standard windows, and one of them is in a door. Yeah. Well, I've got one very standard window. One door, not standard window, I'd say. I'd say it's not a standard window. <laughs> I should draw the room that I thought he lived in before this explanation, <laughs> and then the, the room that he's convinced me he lives in after. They're Ooh, very different rooms. I can't wait to though. see these drawings. I feel like, once again, like the nose thing, you guys said crazy instructions, or at least Gavin did. 
uh, I feel it's very clear. I mean, based on the information I have, I'm going to draw a room that defies physics. Yeah, you're going to have fucking a, a ceiling full of doors. Sauce Tower <laughs> also at the top. I feel like that's important. It's What's at the top? The sauce Tower. The sauce pyramid that I've built. The sauce construction. Your entire fucking apartment is at the top. What's on the what's at the bottom? My bed. <laughs> he lives uh, in my bed on and my curic. It's like a two-dimensional room. <laughs> <laughs> it's the opposite of interstellar. I got my bed and my curic. I got my end tables. My nightstands. <laughs> you yeah, it's it's not so stellar, is what this is. <laughs> <laughs> Do you sleep on a shelf on the wall at the top? How does it I work? Sleep, I sleep on a very comfortable bed. Uh, with a, uh, surrounded by a thousand pillows and a keyboard. <laughs> bed at the bottom. Eric Eric gets it. <laughs> if, oh yeah, it could be a Murphy bed. Does not fold oh. out. It takes up a lot of room though. It's a king size bed. It's a big bed, so it's gonna right, eat up a lot of the space. In your about diagram. your bed size. No, it's okay. just it's just a diagram. I'm saying it's gonna fill up a lot of space. It's not a big room. Bed takes up a lot of the room, is what you're saying. I'm saying it's a majority of my room is bed. Yeah, if you're gonna measure it, well, be mostly bed. That's fair. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get to work on this for next yeah. week. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna probably forget and then do it ten minutes before next week. Can't wait. <laughs> So I'll get right on that next Thursday. Well, thanks for listening to this episode of F*** Face. Another one in the books. Can you believe the Andrew's room was like that? I drank that whole Budweiser. What a crazy episode. I can't wait to see the trailer that Gavin shoots for Jeff's bike stunts. Find out what happens next time on the next episode of F*** Face, episode 59. See you next time. Goodbye. Was the Budweiser this episode? That was ages ago. Oh my yeah. god! The way okay, the way goodbye, that it came end it, in, end it. No, it's over. Was like it was done in post. How like many it, like episodes in a row have we done the stupid soda thing now? Uh, uh, th th well, we didn't do any four. last week, but we've done three now. Did it? Did we no, not we did. do any last no, week? We, we did no, do we, last week. Jeff did. Jeff did one last week, didn't he? Or was I, that this one? No, that was and, this one. No, and I did. And show. Uh, oh show. no, yeah, you're right. You're right. We did one. There's one break. Goodbye. Bye. See. All right, Eric. We'll see you later. Uh, what else you guys want to talk about? Um, about that window. <laughs> <laughs>